Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, Modell. Man, we got some people in here today, y'all. Y'all, hey, listen, man. If y'all ain't tapped in, y'all better get tapped in, man. Tap in! Man, it's going down, man. Super tight and done took over Boss Talk 101. Man. Oh, man. Hey. Bobo Luciano and it. Everybody turn my volume down because I'm going to make this get in the red. <laughs> I'm going to make it get in the red. Get in the red, red now. I'm going to make it get in the red tonight. Like. <laughs> Stop talking during my introduction. <laughs> Jazz yeah. in the building. Man. Thank you. Man. Thank you. <laughs> man. Thank you, man. Thank you guys for coming on the show, man. Thank Thanks you for having for me. Having man, y'all. Hey, man. Listen, man. I I was, I ain't gonna lie. I, I was on, I was on Bobo pretty bad. He I, was. I, I be, hey, listen. It been anytime I'm real ambitious toward doing something. You know what I'm saying? That dude said in March. He said, how long it's gonna take you, Bobo? I said, <laughs> Give me about four or five months. He said August. August, yeah, I gave him a date. He said, I said, August. what? I was upset. Oh, this one here, he got the plan out. And, I had it right, and, right and though. I did, but, you, but when I came out. over there and seen what I seen, I was so proud of the fact of how y'all laid it out. Thank you, bro. That damn table he got over there. I love the table. The table Thank was you. one of the things that he called me about. Yeah, I got this table. I'm like, nigga, I don't care about the table. Get that damn show up. Till he no. saw the table. Till I saw the table. I said, I see what she you did mean. same thing. Really? I think everybody did. You was on it about that table. Well, because we had to wait. It yeah, was custom made. We had to wait for the table. It was custom How made. How long did it take to get a table? Um, It was about 10 days, I believe. It ain't that long. It wasn't that long, but you know. Um, it was one of them days. things where people said, you know, you know, we were just looking for a normal table. And then we came up with that idea. Shout out to my man, uh, Stephen Taylor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He came up with the idea. He gave me two choices. You don't want to know the two choices he gave me. Mm. He said, you want to do a Texas table or do you want to do the UGK emblem? Mm. Damn. I said, oh, that's a tough one. Give me that Texas. Yeah. Texas. Give me that Texas. That's real. Because so many people have used that UGK emblem and watered it down, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want, you know, people thought I should have had the UGK emblem for our logo. I said, no, nah, I want to do something different. You know, everybody knows the UGK connection right. with us, but we want to do something different to make it our own. But you want to represent Texas on a whole. Yes. Right. But UGK yes. was a representation of I Texas. Know. It was. So it was. That's, that's, it was. That goes without saying. But it's so Absolutely. many people got that emblem on, you know. I mean, no disrespect to nobody, but everybody has it. You know what I mean? I want to do something different. That, I want to know about, do Bobo Luciano think that if Pimp C could see Super Tight, would he be proud of it? Yeah. I think and, so. and, and, and why? And, and, and just just kind of run me down through of, of why you feel that way. Because he always wanted us to do something. You know, he always expected for, I don't know if he expected it, but it seemed like every time he's, you know, kind of charged somebody to do something, I was one of the ones that would would do that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we, you know, my I did an interview, well, we did an interview with DJ Bird and uh, Mitch. I've seen that. And he talked about when we, uh, Pimp wanted us to do a um, radio show. You know, we was going to Lake Charles doing the radio show. You know, we did the air check tape and whatnot. You know, it didn't transpire, but I came to Dallas and got a radio show. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And, and he was excited about that. You know, so just things like that. You know, I think he would be more excited to see me still active. Yeah, to see you anything. still active. Mm -hmm. And still keeping the UGK name alive. I was, I was so happy to get you on here that night when you first came. You you dropped so many different jewels on the show that, that I believe – Solidify, you know, uh, shout out to uh, Julia Beverly, who you linked me with as well. Shout out, Julia. You know, Julia Beverly come through and show love. And, and, and it's just stuff like that, man, that, that not only that, he's a Leo, all of y'all. Yeah, man. what's up, Heezy? Um, <clears throat> also, Steve you know, Below. Steve Below. I talked to him the other day. Mm -hmm. We Good just people. talked. I was just on his butt. I was like, man, you got to come home, man. You've been gone. But he died. He, he when he get home, he's going to be busy because he got to. I know. Too many interviews. People want to see him. I know. Yeah, people want to see Steve, man. And, and, and you know, like I said, you and Steve, and he's Leo, man. I'm so proud, man, because I know already, I'm smiling ear to ear because I know already that it's it, it pretty much put me in a place where 
you can't contest the facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. You guys really spent time with Pimp, and only one missing is Bun B. Have you talked to Bun B since you had this going? The super type. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think about it? Um, I hadn't spoken with him since we started dropping episodes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, well, I did. I did. I called him about the issue that we talked about. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, but not on that business. We only spoke for like about five or ten minutes. Just make sure he was good. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was in a good good clear, place, good clear head space, and you know, n- no tripping. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's the good thing about friends, man. You know. I mean, people, you know, they try to say to women, you know, they confide in each other. But men talk to each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't don't we know. She tried to think that I talk more than her. Really? She, But my phone ain't the one I was dying. Oh, that's a dry. Hey, that's a bar. bar. You got to watch him. He a rapper. Yeah, you do. You got Boy, that nigga. I am too, though. Oh, too okay. Though. Oh, oh. Watch yourself. You didn't know Jess K was a rapper? I didn't know she'd be uh-huh. freestyling. She the female. She the, now, don't start that freestyling. He going to make you freestyle. Don't say you freestyle. <laughs> don't, don't say that. I ain't going to lie. I won't you doubt you. The only reason I won't doubt you is because I think I had Chrissy on here, right? And Chrissy, I, I doubted her. And when she started yeah. dropping... Uh, that yeah. Pimp C verse that she had had his back, you know. Yeah. She loved Pimp C. Chrissy who? Chrissy. Uh, OG Chrissy. OG Chrissy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she dropped that with her and Gator Man. Trillers of the Trill. Mm. Man, I she said. Went, she went hard. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you. In the uh, late '90s, early 2000s, Jazzy K was the hardest rapping chicken Dallas. Jazzy K, you mm-hmm. the hardest in Dallas. Yeah, I wouldn't have never. She wouldn't have been down with Rogue's life if she wasn't. Jazzy for you. real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then why did you stop? School. Oh, excuse me. I'm just- <laughs> 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 that nigga there. That nigga, hey, that nigga Jazzy, there. Jazzy, why did you stop? I stopped because, <laughs> I stopped because of, of, of school. Um, you know, I was coming into I mean, I was I was young. I was like, you know, 16, 17, rapping. And then when I graduated, it was like, oh, shit just got real. Real life. To, yeah. Who who was who was somebody that you kind of uh, admired? You know when you was rapping. Was it, let me get. I can guess. You can. Uh, mm-hmm. Roxanne Shante. Yeah, but, she was bad, but wasn't she? She was. But, or Queen Latifah. But back, back MC on, Light. No, you see me going in. She from back, a different era. Let me back, see. Realize. Back in my era, it was like um, Mia X. Mm-hmm. It was Mia X. Uh-huh. Yeah, come on now. Yeah, but if it was me and X, who X. else had the one one? It chick? wasn't many rappers. It wasn't, it wasn't many, many females. No, yeah, it wasn't many females. I mean, Lil Kim, of course. Lil, Lil Kim, mm-hmm. yeah, she went hard. She wasn't raunchy rapping. That's what I respected her about it. She would say raunchy, raunchy things, but it was more like on, um, like nigga, you can't get this. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You know, more like you know that type of thing, not. You know, eat my box like these girls doing now. Yeah. You know, it's the munch game. What the girls talking about now? <laughs> He's yeah. a munch. He's, He's a, munch. a munch. You know, come on now. Do you like lunch or munch? Yeah. <laughs> what I, the hell just happened? I can't knock it. I what's can't knock going it. On? You, you ain't heard, heard that? that? I'm old as hell. You man. heard it because um, no, what's her I name? Didn't. Keeps saying that all Ooh. the time. Yeah. Um, the little girl from New I York. I forgot her name. Oh no, ice something. Ice. Yeah, I can't think of Check her Check it name. out after the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. She got about a minute. Brittany and Loso keep asking all of our um, guests that question. <laughs> well, that's Brittany. You don't I don't be hearing? listening to Brittany. Why would I listen to yeah. Brittany? Yeah, that's how I knew you know, got Brittany and Loso. Yeah, I checked out. Yeah, what do you think about her? She cool. I she brought cool. Brittany on. I, 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 cool. I wanted to bring out some different, a, a different look, you know? Mm-hmm. That's a good, good addition. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the part where people don't understand when you do something. And this is something that I pride myself in is being able to understand that change has to come as you grow, Most, as you go, yeah. and you have to be able to change different, you know, ter- like different frequencies. Oh, oh for yeah. sure. You for have sure. to be able to let people see you in different ways, you know, just to keep them uh, understanding that, hey, man, we created this vibe and we created this wave, so let me wave at you. Right. Mm-hmm. And it ain't going to stop. It ain't going to stop, and that's the whole game. Because now we on Boss Talk. 101. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to Man, matter of fact, man, y'all. T- hey. hey. There it is, baby. Come on. When they hear that right now. Hey. Listen, man. 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 List
We be on fire. We be like, man, yeah. hey, when that thing, listen, I had a guy to call me out of Atlanta today, man. Uh, man, that boy say, man, don't you never change that song. That nigga say he love that song. Let me tell you something, E. When you got some signature like that, yeah. and people come to you with, let me do an intro for you. <laughs> Let me change. Let me help you change your intro. Let me do a better intro for you. Hell no. That whole go hard kick on it, man. Tell him kick rock. Yeah, y'all heard the whole song. Yes. That whole gold on it. Yeah, they, she called. Yeah, so she I, I, I put you on the phone with her. Yeah, she called. What did you say, man? <laughs> she, she thinks she called. You like her? Oh yeah. yes. She got she bars. crazy with it, ain't she? She got bars. And she like and she just be right, chilling. She stood up right here one day and freestyle. <laughs> yeah. Hard. And real, come back tomorrow if I call her. Real scared. freestyling. She gonna come yeah. in this hole. Yeah. Not that old, I done wrote it down. Yeah. No, nah, right she gonna quick. come in this hole, man. Yeah, I like that. And she gonna come with like, okay, I got something to do. I respect yeah. the crap, Every, bro. Every since, and that's EXO, man, ever since I started doing anything on social media, she would always, it was before, I got to warn what she did. Unique Hustle. Man, I forgot, do I got it on? It's on there. No. Well, that ain't it. You know them, don't you? You hear crickets? Crickets. You hear the cricket? That ain't it. There you go. No! Who was there? No, it ain't it. Hey. That ain't it. No, it ain't on there. That, that's it. That's it. That was the first one that when I when I first started it. Yeah. When I first started right. Boss Talk. This was Boss Talk's intro. It was because we didn't have that's what she did for me for unique fashion for the oh. store. And that's all I had. She's but she went in on that O2. Let me check it out. Boy, I got a unique hustle. I had to get it out the mud, I hustle. I ain't waiting on shit, I hustle. Everything I get, I hustle. I grind all the time, I hug. Watch it. Money on my mind, I go in. Why you out here sleep, I hug. Yeah. Stand in these streets, I hug. Hustle. Anything you want, you can get it. Down from the shoes to the shirt to the fitted. Yeah, we done had this trip for a minute. Boy, you better go and take a trip to the city. Come you talking about the store. Yeah, that's the spot. I'm walking in and I'm checking it out. See what he got. Who that's a lie. He ain't got an order, he keeping it stock. Shout out to E. Yeah, that's the boss. He know I'm she drunk, whatever it costs. Call. Unique fashion, come get the sauce. E pulling up if you ever get lost. Yeah. yeah, that boy ready. Whatever you get, go put it on. He gonna take you a pick. Yeah. Take you a pick. I like females rapping like that. Take too. you a pick and whatever you, you get. And whatever hey. you get. Boy, I got a unique yeah. hustle. That hey, unique hustle was going for it. Yeah, man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> I love it that the girl, era. man. Yeah. It is the era for the female. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it I'm is. Tell you, man, cause I mean, so you need to come back out. Don't Ooh, it's safe. <laughs> you better drop some. Ain't, the females ain't killing you. Oh, get the, yeah, we'll drop see. them. And and you know now, you could drop it and it could go crazy. Yeah. It don't matter cause this you know what? I mean, I'm somebody mama now. It don't matter. Different. About to be a grandma. It don't matter. Hey, what? Who don't do that? Man, let me tell you something, man. Ain't no telling. You can do, you know what? Anything you want, you can like get it. That is yeah. not the way to break the news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Yeah, like, Box off exclusive now. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been the in most interesting thing you would say that's going to happen? You know, we we had a viral moment with the running out of the OGs running CW out of here. Man, I saw uh, that. So so what have you? I know y'all over there, you know, y'all chilling and it's all professional. <laughs> have anything happened yet that you like, yes. hey. Dang, can he get the question? <laughs> what was it? Bobo Luciano! I said he ain't talking, baby. What, <laughs> what happened, man? <laughs> What's well, happening? Oh, it's happening. Yes. You know. What? Well, you know, we have my man Supreme on there. Shout of course. out Supreme. Shout out to my guy, Supreme. He's a very Supreme good guy. Supreme is a very, very good guy. I, I've interviewed him uh, on several occasions. Yes, yes, he's a good guy, man. And the powers that be just don't like Supreme. Mm. I already know that. Did you see? Sure. Did you see my interview with Supreme? Yeah, yeah, I seen, I seen some of it. You I, know, see I see everybody hates Supreme like I everybody seen hates Chris. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like they coming out of nowhere for. I mean, even people that I know, mm. it's, it's about to show his head. Wow. Yeah. So, but I like. In other Supreme. words, in other words, when you had one interview, you didn't think it was going to lead to another interview until it happened. Right, but you gotta let them come speak their part. But here they come, and that's the part where people say, "Man, boss talk messy." But it'd be like, "I'm serious." <laughs> but it'd be like, "I can't let this man say this," and this man here, he was going, he didn't know that this was going to happen. It's media. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so I just like, yeah, okay, now what happened? Yeah. 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 Look at that camera. I do it. Yeah. I, do, I do it with them, to, with, with, with these managers, because I, I stick with Supreme. You do? Mm-hmm. How can you say that? Well, because I like the guy. I like him too, but well, I don't think. Well, you introduced me to him, and I don't think you introduce a, say, a bad seed to him. No, he, I, I'm, think, I'm not, I think he's underrated as well, but I also know that a lot of it he calls this self. And I'm going to say that because. Everybody make mistakes. Because of the way that his persona was toward the masses of people on what he was projecting. Well, until, now, when I talk until about I see it, that part. No, no, no. It ain't no bad thing. It's changing now because he redeveloped his brand and he's talking more. If you really think about it, I'm more of a, a, a person where, I, like I told him, you should be speaking more, talking, so people will know this is what you're doing. Yes. This is who you are. This is what I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's the part where I talk about, hey, mm-hmm. man, mm-hmm. You got to, if this what you did and this who you are, you got to speak on that. And I think for a fact that, see, because people take kindness for weakness. Yeah, they will. That's the problem. You see what I'm saying? So I think a lot of times you got to, you got to stand in the gap, baby. You got to stand on that stage. Like when you told me when you came out, when, when, when you first met UGK and you came out of that hole and you were rah, rah. Got to be. You know, you were doing something with somebody else. I remember you oh, telling yeah, me about Run the C. story. Run oh, yeah, C. Yeah, yeah. And they knew you were there. You got to feel me. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think that's the part where, and it could have held some stuff back, too, on some of the people that he's dealt with. Because of the way that your persona is, it carries everything around you as well. Would you say it's a negative persona or just he's just a quiet guy? I don't think it's negative. I think it's just him being docile of, of dealing with all the mess. He probably yeah. didn't want to. He was like... uh I don't who, want to deal with it was the somebody seat. else who uh, said they was kind of in the background. And last night I was talking to uh, Scooter Mac and Low Yeah. yeah. Uh, PMG, right? Mm-hmm. And Scooter Mac said he was in the back. Scooter Mac never came out, but he been there the whole time, mm-hmm. always helping. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But now it's time for Scooter Mac to come out. Yeah. He knows that. But just think if he'd have came out already and been out here, you never know what would happen. You right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No, not a bad thing, but it's a thing. Everything to where happens in its own time. That's right. true. That's true too. But and everybody don't have the same personalities. But now you out here, you gotta have you out here. You don't he, have to have because a nigga done drug you like nigga, come on. <laughs> I think he he can stand his own. Yeah. No, he ain't not. Nah, it ain't you that part. It's right. just it's one of them things I believe that you gotta show you. Before I can tell you, I can show you better than I can tell you. Yeah. I think y'all tell and show. No man, I like I Muhammad Ali. Man. I don't like all that lip wrestling. I man. like I like Muhammad because no. really, usually what, like like Muhammad was, usually he was he was doing it, but it was to motivate himself. Yeah, ain't I, got nothing to do with no nigga. I'm this, I'm that nigga. I'm gonna knock you out in the third round, nigga. Yeah. And two, you know what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Three, you gonna be lying on the on the on the page? You know? Yeah, on, yeah. On, yeah. yeah. That's what people, that's what people who need self motivation. But I think if you're already confident within yourself, you don't need that. Everybody I, needs self motivation. I know to motivate themselves higher than what they are. Exactly. But if you're already confident within yourself, even I'm the not most gonna, confident have exactly where they're not confident. So yeah, mm-hmm. but but that. you'll never know because they're gonna show their show and talk their talk. But exactly. I guarantee you, you catch them if you're flying on the wall. Yeah, you see something different. That's just bravado. We got so we room. got so much stuff. Do you think that a lot of time because of the way that the uh, the the way that these podcasts, the bloggers, the interviewers, and all this different stuff is going on, does it overshadow the music? It it's can. Sometimes. It's mm-hmm. sometimes. But that's a hell of a question there. It yeah, can. it's like a bunch of different uh, national inquiries around this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Tabloids. Yeah. For some for for those that are in that lane. It can though, and then. But also, the people, if you keep stroking the, the fire of that and not the music, well, that's what's going to happen. I see it both ways because many people have came on this platform. And you know what they tell us? And what? you know, you're going to be like, yeah, he showed that. Because they just told us that a while ago that young boy, the cowboy, was here. What Man, he until I seen Hot Boy West on your show, that turned his whole career up. Yeah. I done heard a lot of niggas tell me this, and I done had people to call from out of state. He is good. I'm not playing. He is good and bad about everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got people who are going to take the good of it and do it the good way, and you got people that's going to take that same thing and flip it. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to have their fans as well. 
You know what I mean? It's, it's how many people in the world? Seven billion. It's I mean, it's a lot of people in but the world. But what man. I liked about it is the fact that even with him doing what he did and said what he said, you know, even about a hundred thousand, because that's what a lot of people saw yeah. that comment. Mm-hmm. When you look in the comments and you have those negative people who are like, oh, he on drugs, look at him, you know, all of that sort of sure. stuff. But I guarantee you, all those people that's been telling us all the good things, yeah. they re- everybody reads the comments because yeah. that's where all of the comic and the comedians mm-hmm. and everybody is. But they take it for what it is. There's always just people just, yeah. you know, doing what they do. No, but I that didn't the stop comments. them from seeing the truth. Don't say nothing bad. You know, the true story behind it, seeing that it helped him. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Money Moses, Money saw, Moses in that whole. Talking <laughs> what it? Say comments. nigga, who, what'd you oh, say? Oh, oh, he be answering the comments. Yeah, yeah, I be in do. the comments laughing. Yeah. Comments. I laugh at them cats, man. Because <laughs> I think about who it could be. Yeah. It could be a 11 year old kid, you know, just typing away. Yeah. You know what I mean? If yeah. I was 11, okay. I'd be in the moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, you know what I'm saying? I remember being a Not kid. You e, e, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to tell you. You remember back in the day being young and finding a CB somewhere? Yeah. Well, I used to pick that break a break break a break a break a team up with buddy. You know what I'm saying? I used to mess with the truckers, do all that kind of stuff, bro. So yeah, I would probably be that, that was eleven bad. year old kid. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, so I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah but I, I, I wouldn't be the tough guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you never know what might happen. You know, so I just try to stay in my lane. Yeah, when it comes to that. Like I said, man, once you put yourself in a situation where you're dealing with everybody and they are, and you know, you all know the business. Yes. Um, you don't know what the heck is going to happen next. You don't know what people are going to say. Yep. You don't. That's uh, the whole game of it. That's why I try to be realistic on here. I don't play no games, nigga. Mm-hmm. I say whatever I yep. feel. If I see it, I got to stand on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when you guys first started, what was y'all biggest uh, pushback starting the podcast? And I'll tell y'all was as well. What do you mean pushback? Push uh, when it comes down just to the whole getting You're it talking going. setback? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, that's, something that made you like, dang, I didn't know that was going to happen when you first trying to get it up and off the ground. Or you didn't expect it. You accounted for everything but just that. Mm-hmm. Just technical stuff. The technical part was yeah, it? just technical. Most of- you know, I told you, I was, you know, I thought it was Christmas. I got her for my technical, you know what I'm saying, because I, I, figured, I figured she could figure everything out. I'm the untechnical one, so I have to wait for her to figure everything out and then train me on it. You know what I mean? So, you know, I told you, I went out and got everything, and it was like Christmas. I was excited. I was excited. Oh, look at all these boxes. They coming. That's me. Uh, right. And then when they got there, I got overwhelmed. Yeah. And I was like, God damn, I got to learn this. I said, you know, I said some things. I wrote, I did my, what, what, what's the saying? My mouth. My wrote, writer checked that my ass could cash. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm cashing that hole now. Hey. Hey, I'm cashing <laughs> it now. It just took me some time. Took I, I said August, it took me to September. Now we rolling. You know but you know, I, and and that that's the whole game, but y'all rolling. You know what I mean? But when y'all first came out, I, you know, I seen the cameras. I said, okay, I see they adjusted that. I was watching all that. Yeah. I was trying to meet. She mm-hmm. was too. We, we got a different watching. camera guy. We watching everything. We got a new camera guy. Mm-hmm. Because oh, we care good. about y'all. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we looking like, yeah. We more self-contained now. Supposed to be. You see who in here with us. Oh, but yeah, you got to go through trial and error. You got we do. to. We yeah. do. I like it like this because I get to spend time with my baby. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Me, Me too. too. It's better like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah because, but, I mean, we going to be together anyway. We might as well try to make money while exactly. we're together. And, then, you, and you still do argue even oh, while you oh, do yes. it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on now. She always checking. Look out here. <laughs> She's always Man, checking. Man, hold up. She keep me straight. She's like the moderator. You know what I'm saying? If it was a debate, she's like the moderator. Oh, she keep me, she pulled me back and keep me mm-hmm. straight. So, ain't no wrong with that. Man, she's know. the moderator in my life. Already. She keep me Aww. straight. How tough is it being, <laughs> being, being, having the kids and trying to figure out how to deal with maneuvering them while you guys have been doing super tight? And having a full-time job. That's what, I, that's pretty much what I'm asking. Well, the podcast is my full-time job now. Oh, yeah. I retired to do this. I which know, is, but she which is did. Dope. Yeah, she didn't. Same thing I'm trying to do. Yeah, you know that yeah, already. Yeah. I told you that. Yeah. Now that you has did. been the only challenge. A balancing act. Now the kids haven't been a problem because you know they of age and it's like we can be like, all right, here y'all food, we'll be back. But yeah, working and because it's like before I get off work and it's like, um, oh, go lay down. Now it's like, get up, we got we to interview. Right, we got to leave, and I'll be like, but we got to interview. Have anybody ever not came and y'all just be sitting there? Yeah. 
Couple boy, times. that didn't happen yeah. to us. But when we first times. started, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. we be couple sitting times. there with that picture on the thing. Yeah, it happened. Yeah, and that's just like it you makes can't you downer. Ain't, ain't you it a downer? It, it, it's or not that a late. downer. And for me, it was or a downer. Super late. It's not a downer, but it's like damn. They didn't even you call. Can't call and say, yeah. hey, I'm not mm -hmm. coming. And, and I called rude. him, and they wanted me on the phone. I had of time, so we didn't have to come up here. That's just real. That hadn't happened yet. I I didn't call them, and they didn't even answer the phone. That hadn't happened yet. And then 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 they never answer the phone. Then finally. We get them back on the phone after three months, cause mm -hmm. I, I went out and uh, everybody that they hugged on, I interviewed them. Yeah, yeah. Man, with the right nigga over there. Yeah, he yeah. did. He does every, that. Well, that's boy, how I am. Everybody you hugging on, everybody I'm get yeah. that nigga. Yeah. And then, and then, then the next man. thing you know, I catch somebody in my inbox. <laughs> What's up, man? I said in the man. Yeah. And it's I just too. leave it on unread. Leave it, <laughs> <laughs> leave it on unread. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen hundred, nigga. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that part. Circle back around. <laughs> well, you know, just now that you said that, you know, let me just go on and put it out there. We do have some marketing packages mm -hmm. that's coming out. Yeah. And if you want to be, you know, want to be seen on Boss Talk 101, uh, there's packages where you can uh, sponsor or either you can uh, get uh you can get your stuff seen in a month's time. We got different packages. We got a team of people who basically saying, hey, you know, if you get this package, you get to do this. If you yeah, get that package, idea. you get to do this. And if you get that package, you get to do this. And then... This I, many times. Yeah, and I thought about it. I said, you know what? And I told my marketing uh, VP today, I told him, I said, anytime somebody trying to call himself want to get on Boss Talk, I'm going to send them to you. That's what you do. That it, way you it, can it takes a lot off your Yeah, that way, that way, if they so really want to get on here so bad, yeah. maybe they'll be interested in investing exactly. in yeah. marketing. Mm -hmm. But see, if they not, then that'll stop that. Because part, part, right? of that exactly. part of that marketing includes an interview, right? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. This is this this could open the door for that. Okay. That's how fly we is. This this because it's usually marketing for your product. What you have a restaurant, you oh, have you. Um, or if you got alcohol a video. that you sell, mm -hmm. you know we can promote it. We can do different things. Got you know, you. drink it, shout it out, different yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see what you But then video you sponsorship, know, type sponsorship, yeah. but, but you. post what? it on what? all of our social media. But we got packages that can run up to ten thousand dollars. So mm -hmm. what if you bought that package? You think I'm not going? Oh yeah. Come on, man! This, oh, yeah. Come on, let's let's be real. You come through th uh, every quarter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You get your interview every quarter. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do that. But one. you see what I'm saying? Yes. So this is the way the game got to be played because I don't want to just charge nobody. Mm -hmm. But I do want you to understand that this business do, does take. It is business. It it's is. business. Mm -hmm. It's definitely. And it can get eyes put on you yeah. easy. Yeah. I mean, so you got people flying in from Chicago. You just seen a man come mm -hmm. all the way from yes, Chicago yes. to be on Boss Talk now and driving all the way back to H-Town and flying out tomorrow. You heard it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is God. Yeah. Uh, why Nothing would I, but God. Why would, I, why would I, you know, just let you come do this and do that? Uh, you know, when we was looking for you, hmm. we couldn't even get you to come. Hmm. That was the problem right there. Nobody mm -hmm. wouldn't come. They, when I was calling and... They tried to Mike Jones you. Yeah, who? Mike mm. Jones. Who? who? Back then. <laughs> back then, back then didn't they know didn't me. know me. Now I'm hot. But it, it's like, and I'm not saying that, and it's not a bad thing, because some people really, they don't know, right? They don't know that we we going to be fly. Yeah. They, they don't, they don't what see I, the vision. Well, I don't they don't know. see the vision. That's the thing. If they I don't knew, see the vision. You can't say. Say y'all were just starting, and I knew, man, man, that's Bobo, man. You know who that is? Yeah. And I knew who that was. Nigga, I'm coming over there early. What's up, Bo? Okay, hey, if you'll let me, yeah. if you'll have me, yeah, yeah. But let me just move the speaker you for know. you or something. You're like, well, yeah, let me do something, but Bo. The problem, but the problem with our people, yeah. our people, is the support. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's hard to get our people to support. I think the, the, um, the majority of my subscribers are from out of town, people we don't even know. It's going to continue to be like that. I know it, and that's a shame. You would think that your own people would support you. You know what I'm saying? We got enough people in, in our neighborhood, in our city, to get rich. We don't need everybody else. Mm -hmm. But because of that, I'm glad we have that option to have everybody else. Y'all got these yet? They coming. Turn it over. I saw it. That's what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm out there with them. I got me about oh, seven. Oh, yeah. I'm in their face, though. I got me seven today. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm on their phone. Oh, yeah. 
I'm doing the same thing. I just don't have it. I'm in their face with it though. But I want it. I want it. you know me. I'm on you. I'm yes. on it. Oh yeah. 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 We crazy. Him, him we, too. We crazy. <laughs> you you tell me. I fit it through the wife. She's the she's the CFO. When is it coming? Yeah. And CEO. Yeah. Huh? When is it coming? When is this coming? Yeah. And let us uh, know I, quick. I can get you a good deal, real good deal. Oh, uh, I think we got. I'm gonna ask, talk to you I about bet it. You, I bet you then. We found out. I bet you. you. I see yours got the UV coating on it. But I bet you, huh? I bet you how to hook it right. We fly. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be. It's easy. What you trying to do? Put me up under your thumb? No, I'm just <laughs> trying to bless you. I'm trying to bless you, right? I'm just trying to bless. I mess with you, bro. No, you know I'm a fool. Somebody come get this hand. He come for me. He always <laughs> call me. Bobo gonna call and check on me, man. Oh, yeah. I love Bobo. But Bobo, this nigga, let me guy. tell you something about him, though. What? You know how fiery I'm passionate I am. Mm, don't we? Huh? Yes. This dude think it's funny. <laughs> This dude it right is here. funny sometimes, baby. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no, I call and ask him about something just to see. Just to see him. Yeah, 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 he gonna go there. Yeah, he, gonna, <laughs> he might he say gonna anything. Face the every time. He gonna say it. He gonna stand on it. Every time. And if what y'all you know, mean? If y'all know this from episode one <laughs> to we where well, we on 19 now, mm-hmm. that we just dropped, but we got several in the can. But if you've noticed, I, you will notice that I've become a little bit more mild. I try uh-huh. to talk to him about that. You know that, right? Oh, I yeah. did too. Yeah, I was like, I was like, going? man, come on, man. You not gonna make it. And he ain't, he ain't, he, he ain't let me make it. He gonna tell me, nigga, I, I, I'm listening. But I know it. <laughs> you, have, you have to realize, I did listen. You did. A, he from an era before all this censorship. Yeah, yeah. Just, just say we whatever. all are. You gotta understand. Yeah. I, when I, if error. you go back and watch the first episode trial of, of Boss Talk when I was just in here messing around, yeah, I was. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, but every time. But I if you it, go back and check it now, yeah, I know. He, he getting he doing. Better. But you see what I'm saying beginning. because it's business. In and the beginning, I was like, <laughs> well, I just well, what I did when I just took it, it back it. to you know, I know when to say what and when not to say what because you know, Edit twenty years, out. twenty years in the industry. You know, not the music industry, but you know, the, the car industry. You know, car industry. Yeah, you know, you I know how to do it. Yeah, he, and plus. Being on the radio, you know, mm-hmm. even half years, I knew what not to say and I couldn't cuss. But I, boy, I walked a fine line, didn't I, baby? Yes. But Ooh. it's different whenever you working for other people doing that sort of yes. stuff. You had to abide by the rules, and then now you're doing it for yourself. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, I can do whatever I want, say whatever I want, whatever. So when yeah. you start, that's how you gonna come across, like. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the thing about that, because based on what you just said, think about Kanye West mm-hmm. right now. What's going on right now? And, you know, a lot of us are supporting, you know, Kanye. Some are not. You know, a lot of, and I, I read the people comments, well, he can leave. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he can do whatever he wants to. He a billionaire. You seen him snatch that Adidas mm-hmm. deal from him? Mm-hmm. Forbes dropped that article right after that. You know what it says? What? Kanye West is no longer a billionaire. Uh-uh, I didn't see that. Billionaire no I posted more. it on Facebook. That's why when you when you look at someone's net worth, it is never what they got in the bank. Yeah. It's what they are worth. Worth, and right. that's and, and that's included. And, that, and that's projected worth. Yes, just like mm-hmm. they projected that Adidas was going to lose two hundred some million dollars a year by losing him. Mm-hmm. They're projecting what he is going to lose as right. well. Mm-hmm. And now that took him down below a million, a billion dollars. Mm-hmm. So he is no longer the richest black man in America. Mm. So how did Overnight. It take I, I had to go look it down. I don't trust you, but it's, it's on Forbes. Mouth. It's on there. It's on they Forbes. can say what they want to say, but you don't just drop. You know what? I don't like Forbes a lot of times. Let me tell you why. Because when, That's where when your work comes no, from. but when you look at Jay, when Jay uh, made that one billion or whatever, uh, uh, Kanye I was already that, I know. that shoe I know. deal. He was already a billionaire. Yeah. But they played it to where they can make Jay the first billionaire rapper. I can when, understand that, but I don't like that. I don't like fake. You but understand what I'm saying? If you if it's not, it's what politics. are you doing, it's bro? Politics, bro. Yeah. I don't like politics. It's I don't either, but it's politics and yeah, everything. You just gonna make this man be the first billionaire? Okay. When I'm sitting here looking at these Yeezys going hard for thousands of dollars. Okay. So no, nah, I didn't believe that. I didn't believe it, and I knew better, and I knew what they was doing. But people who don't know, and I know you, Jay fans, gonna get mad at me, and I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, hmm. you know that. Hmm. You know that nigga was fluffed up. Man. And they put him around uh, Warren Buffett to make him look fluffed up more than what he was. Who that, Jay? Yeah. Hey, man, you need to get up off hold. 
I get that all the time. For sure, so my nizzle what used to dribble down and pee. You see how you act? I'm gonna do just like I did that nigga at work that worked with me. Let me tell you what I nigga was doing just like you. And I told that nigga that he was listening to country and doing that. But if I turn on some Pimp C U G K right now, you'll stop all that. For sure. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm Texas first, bro. But I was I was in it. I'm a rap fan. Not his big pimping. Nah. <laughs> uh, <hip>. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bun ate that boy lunch on that big pimping, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, big pimping was a serious song. <laughs> eight bars got them niggas in place. Eight bars got their eight ass. Eight bars ate all them niggas. The most iconic eight bars in hip hop history. Man, is on big pimping. Man. Smoke it out, pour it up, keep that lean up in my cup. Man. Hold up. Man, hold up. That's Texas, guys. That we in Texas. Man, this is Having Texas. Having a damn good time. Texas. Already. Yeah. Gotta love it. So, so uh, how, um, okay, editing. Both of y'all editing? I was gonna get to that. Yes. Just one. We both are both you. editing now. At and this point. when you're editing, do yes. you like, because you see certain things, you're like, okay, baby, when we go, when we're recording, we need to stop doing this. We need to mm-hmm. do this, do that, mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. Because it takes up more time in editing. It does. Yes. <laughs> yes. It does. Well, How easy is editing for you? Pretty easy. For who? For him or for me? She, she, Each. Well, she, she, she figured it out pretty pretty fast. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then she trained me on it. Mm-hmm. And I've been editing now for approximately about 10 days. Mm-hmm. And I've got it down. Only thing slows me up is the uh, transcoding. You know, if I didn't have the transcoding thing going on, I'd be. Phew. I'm excited about it. It's fun. You know what I mean? The but, clips, uh, just anything. No, yeah. I'm saying the oh, clips. Oh, oh, I got the clips down to a to a science. Bro. How you like them? Hey, I like them. She got her way of doing clips. I got my way of doing clips. But since I've taken over the editing, I try to take that off her plate. You know what I mean? Because I need her to do other things. But I still go to her if I run into a problem. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she helps me out with my problem. Wow. She's the smartest person I know. Man. Aww. Dope. Yeah, she's the smartest person but I know. But she... What you trying to... I'm give me something Thank tonight. You, baby. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Why you... <laughs> because I was just going to say how you, you go hard for everything. Like, and you... Yeah. you oh, she's she the does. most bossiest person. No, I had person. to look at him for a second because you don't ever know what might come out of his say, mouth. Yeah. I wasn't no. going to say she was smarter. I'm going to say she the most bossiest person I know on Boss Talk 101. She a boss. So but women do that, though. A good black woman to do yeah, that for you, man. she a boss. We you know what I mean? What she you be, expect? She be Why you have her We there? need that. <laughs> we need that, man. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. I'll be all over the place without my wife, bro. I think she know that already. That's why she played me to the like, like she did. I know you with you. You a live wire. <laughs> <laughs> I see she keeping you straight. Mm-hmm. 20 years strong, is, is it? 20 yeah. years strong? Yes, I can imagine. Well, that. I can imagine in the beginning, Miss Jamaica. <laughs> Actually, I was a workaholic. So. But that don't, I don't workaholic. Still. You still had a mouthpiece. You just buck really. on your off time. She told me you've always been like this. Yeah. yeah, I've been like this a long time. Okay, wait a minute. She didn't tell me. You know who told me this? Who? Steve. I ain't talk too much. Okay. <laughs> he told me you uh, 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 a story about you in church and got kicked. What? What? No, what happened? No, what no, you was? No. Yeah. No. Allegedly. No. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, what happened? Word. What was you doing as a little boy in church? Allegedly, I, allegedly, I got kicked out the church. What was you doing? How you get kicked marking out the church? Marking the preacher. He was marking the preacher. Yeah. Everything he say, I see. Okay. Wait, man. How old were you, sir? <laughs> like probably three. Put him right out the church. Yeah, just own it. Old enough, old enough own to it. talk, uh, and old enough to get him out of here. <laughs> get that boy out of here. Amen. 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 Wow. 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 Everything. He, <laughs> but a preacher could look at it and like, oh, he maybe he wants to be a preacher. I think he was jealous. I probably was like. doing it better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you was hooping better than him, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. They probably home. Now he, ooh, let uh, me he get that. He couldn't concentrate. He like. I, <laughs> Every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you know, that's the way it go down, man. So, who who do y'all want to interview? What's one y'all looking forward to? As far as locally or? Whenever, whoever. Beyonce. Uh, she want Beyonce. You want be? Mm-hmm. I would like Beyonce. That's her favorite. Let me see if I missed that. Do you up. think you I think I missed that up already. Or I talked down freeze? on Jay a lot. I went freeze. I have too many questions. I'll be like, girl, how much time you got? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna she won't Beyonce. I hadn't thought about myself. If Beyonce come here, 
you gonna get the same nigga. Like I'm gonna go in. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm going same. in. Gonna I ain't gonna be the same. She gonna get the hell up in well, here. Like, like, I think it's. I think first of all, don't do me. You know when she comes, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come off my table with a box of chicken. I told you, nigga, I've been watching you for a long time. You're like, what happened? Is she just hey. human? That's mm, right. Hey, you I'm know part what I'm saying? The people, don't, people don't. look at people. Oh. Huh? Serious about it? Yeah, she is. Beehive, you no. better not say nothing about Beyonce. You gonna have to knuckle up with this one. You, <laughs> what, so you gonna be on on the Twitter and all that? Bro, too? Yeah, she already sent me the thing already. The tour hadn't even started. Damn. They just announced the tour. She already sent it to me. I yeah, because told you it was coming. Because she'd be like, I "Um, prepare for this. You yes. gonna buy a ticket? Yes. and we gone." I already know what it is. <laughs> She's in the beehive. Uh, yeah, so she grew I, up I don't, that I era. don't get starstruck, but they about the same you know age, you know what I mean? Yeah, so Beyonce, they grew up together. Grew up uh, yeah, I heard, that's my I heard about it growing up. Beyonce is her her one, you know what I mean? I don't have one. Boy, stop. Yes, you do. Who, who is it? Who would it be, baby? Prince. He dead. I don't have a one. PMC. Yeah, he, he dead too. Yeah, I don't have so I don't have a one. Mm, I don't have a one. Sure no. about that. I don't have none living. I, not that I could think of. It would have to be someone like Richard Pryor or you know. He did. That's what she's saying. I'm just saying. It, Scarface. I would love to interview him, but he's Yeah, I mean, you see it like my bucket list. You know what I mean? I'd have to think about I that. Think oh, the, I, I, think I got one. I got who? one. I got Jay Prince. That's the Jay one I, I'd like to get you. Jay Prince, get your ass down here to Texas, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean get your ass down here to Dallas. To Dallas. So let's go, man. Come yeah. on, man. Let's there get this go. on. Yeah, I already been. I've been throwing that. Oh yeah, you got to. You got to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you ain't jigging with it. It's yeah, crappie. You gotta, you it's gotta, like crappie. You got to jig with it. Nah, this a beetle spin. Oh, it already spinning. Out of that. I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to do nothing. If you jig with it, <laughs> you on. got you got that flopping bait on there. You got to yeah. do too much work. Yeah. Flop. Yeah, well, for real. <laughs> now, nah, but I definitely been I always. Uh, he one of those ones. Uh, Bum B is one of those ones too for yeah. me. Um, I oh, know boy, y'all already cool and they, all that's happening, but for me, it's like yeah, I got to work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm, I'm I don't know him like well, that. I, got, I just got you know him. what I'm saying. You know the nigga. Well, I don't my, call no nigga like that. But at the end of the day, I say if I work, if I work and I You'll keep come. working, yeah, you ain't gonna have another choice. I. Feel the dream. I somewhere. have gotten these DMs already where I know people are understanding what boss talk is putting on them. Mm-hmm. And it ain't nothing to but play with. But you know what it is? Yeah. Oh, e, yeah. It ain't like you don't know nothing about boss talk. Oh, you made it. I ain't worried about The one thing I do know that we always show love and people like Bobo, you can't deny the show. Yeah. And I ain't saying he is because I, I hadn't got a chance to meet him or talk with him. But I'm just saying... If you on the outside looking in, like a lot of people are, they yep. know the show, yep. they've seen it, you know the genuine hearts. Look at look at us sitting on this damn panel, man. Yep. If you a grown person and you see this show, do you see what's going on right here? Yeah, yeah we can't. Grown it. folks stuff. Nigga, this serious. And it's ready too, it's organized. Yeah. You can't deny, and it ain't happening in every city. No, Mm-mm. it's not. This serious, y'all don't understand. This thing's so serious, and it's like, what? what why do you say that? Cause of what you just said. Yeah, we grown as hell. Grown folks. Okay. And you know what? We made it. <laughs> yes, it's a lot did. of people. Our friends. A lot of our friends. Come on, man. Make it, man. And that's the part where if you are, if you of age, yeah, you you definitely got to respect mm-hmm. it. It's a blessing. And then if you understand what you're dealing with, and you've seen some of the things that's happened on Boss Talk One One, if you really tapped in, oh man. I know you see some amazing things. I've seen some kids and didn't make it back to these seats. Bro. I talk to I talk to people about you all the time about things that have happened. We talked about that. Yeah, you know, but, yeah. You know, I I told my buddy the other day, man. You've interviewed two or three people that three that ain't here that, no more. That bought people with them that mm-hmm. they was the ones that ended up murking them. Stuff mm-hmm. like that. You know, I'm like, dang, dang man, what's going on? With that's that? crazy. That's crazy. And then you know, I talk about like on that note. You know, you can go through your Facebook, your friends, and just see how many people have died and yeah. passed along. The Facebook's still there. And I'm thinking about how right. you have seen people in the flesh. Yeah. And they have transitioned. That's crazy. That's a that's a cold thing. That's crazy because it's got to mess with you. It don't really mess with me. You know why it don't mess with me? Why? Because I get a chance to share God with all of them. Mm-hmm. 
well, hope, the, well, hopefully they got their life right before they went. It don't matter if they did their part. You I did know I part. did what I'm supposed to do because yeah, I know right. why God sent me in the seat. Well, I'm talking about for them, for their case, for their. That's the reason I'm spitting it to I'm them knowing. like that. Yes, yes. I'm planting the seed. Yeah. One thing the word says says that that God is the one that uh, pretty much get increase. He said well, there's one that water and there's one that planted mm -hmm. mm. on the seed and the harvest thing. But God is the one that makes it grow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't have to do nothing but plant. Did you yeah, learn that when you was three, repeating after the No, I just read a lot. <laughs> oh, you gotta understand. Oh, I, I teach you about a lot. E. I'm what? ready. Oh, E is um different. Well versed in the Bible. Awesome. Real oh, different. You seen me with Big D on this. Shout out Big D the Mogul when I Shout chopped out him Big up. D. So I chop I, I bring you to a, a Mr. Real, Atheist. <laughs> Boy, stop with that, D. <laughs> Boy, you know you ain't no atheist. Where you my camera? Right there. <laughs> and and my, right say, I mean, Big D. God is good. God, God is good. God is good. Shout out, Big D, the vocal man. He gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, <laughs> you know, the the thing that you look at is what can I do to impact that person that's sitting in that seat? You know what yeah. I'm saying? How can I be of value to that person in that seat? Yeah. It's heavy, man. You got to be. Because I want to be able to give you something that you can take from here, and then you're going to grow with it. If you ain't going to grow and go with it, man, you know, I got to be a part of this. Yeah. That yeah. could have been my whole purpose of doing Boss Talk. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, you got to be the one to say, man, I show, damn, I could have said something to him. Mm -hmm. I should have said something to him. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah. That type of thing. But if, you are, if you're doing it every time. Every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I, mean, I know when these young folks get in here, they need to hear it. They do. Yeah, they do. That's that's what I pray to God Some to give me old up. ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the old ones too. <laughs> yeah. It ain't been too many that when we sit down here, you know, things get intense. Because that woman right there, she's something else. Okay. You're going to get it. Got to be. Oh, she's like that too. You're going to get that oh my real. God. Yeah. Yeah, she like, she's not going to let you be just no, you know what I'm talking about? You get your kid up in here, man, and, and they wilding. They gonna respect she's you. She's not anyway. that old anyway. <laughs> they gonna respect you. She's not that old anyway, but she's gonna come and make you feel like you a kid. You know what I mean? That grandma fit. Yeah, I mean that just the look. I mean, she's got that motherly yeah. thing about her. Yeah. She gonna yeah. give that look and you just Yeah. Yeah. And she ain't no punk. Never that. She ain't at no at punk. All. No. No. This this is the female bubble. <laughs> she ain't no Damn. punk. Yeah. No, nah, she ain't. So what do y'all want to see? You know, we had Trill Talk No Pill Talk here this weekend. I say, let me ask you a question. Was that Trill Talk No Pill Talk on? on yeah, the, yeah. Okay, that was him. I read it. And uh, that's what he just said. No, he don't know what I'm. You don't. Oh, okay. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> Trill Talk No Pill Talk was sitting here, and we sit here one night about the same time, and we said, "Man, you got." I think we had five hundred. Or 600. Mm -hmm. 500. Subscribe was 500. He had 300. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I can replay it. That's we got it. Up. Yeah. And we say, this was about a year year ago. Yeah. Now, how did that make, now, how did it make you feel? No, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. that I'm. let me get my question out. Uh, <laughs> Jay, <laughs> oh, you said Super she Tight TV interviewing you. Over. You know it. You said Super Tight TV taking over. They did take over. <laughs> Oh, it made me feel it made it, it makes me feel great to see what we've done because we put that work in. But yeah. mm -hmm. just that night when Trill Talk was like, "Man, I think I'm gonna do a thousand this year, man. I think I'm gonna be able to get to a thousand at the end." Remember that? Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was like, "Oh, that's that's cool. You can do it, nigga. You got to come on with." Y'all was just trying. Y'all was just trying. We gave up. We didn't, we didn't give up. We just was pushing him. Y'all was just trying to get monetized. Yeah. Wow. You can it's it's on there like that. It's on. It, we got the video. It's on Trill. Go look at Trill Talk No Pill Talk first video on okay. Boston. Yeah, you gonna see it. I really I'm and, gonna um, check it out. And uh, he's got over how many he's got now? He got thirty thousand. Thirty seven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He got thirty seven. I think it was thirty seven. He got thirty some thousand within a year. Within a year. Year year and so. Year and so. Year That's and a half. God is good. good. Big D. God is good, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that again, that's consistency. That's daily. Yeah. That's no game. That we know that that ain't no game. No, it's not. Y'all know. I know. Me and you done yeah, had these yeah, discussions. Yeah, yeah. I had Jordan on here the other night. I he said you supposed to be posting thirty times a day, twenty to thirty times a day. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Different, different. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it's not easy. Now that's Facebook, Instagram, yeah, YouTube, yeah, and Twitter. Yeah. Different, different sources. 
You know, just different. You you could break that up to five, five, five. You can break that up to five, it's not six, easy. seven. No, it's not. It's not easy. No, but it's doing. Especially when, you, when you're editing and doing everything else you're doing. But y'all got the content. Doing. We got the content back yeah. up. That's the only thing we get. We don't have no excuse. We have the we content. We have the content. Yes. It's just to it's find the, the it's time. It's the timing. It's, it's the time, time and, and dealing with life as well. Right. And trying to be hands-on. And I, yes. you don't want to let nobody to touch certain so, things. I yes, can't yes. Oh, because they get mad at you. Next thing you know, they done stole <laughs> something from you. Yes. You, know, can't you don't want to play that? No, no, no. And, I don't and, play that. Yeah. And you know what your mom used to say? You want something done right? Better do, do it, it yourself. yourself. Yeah. So that's the whole game All for day me. Day. Um, now we're going to wind up. So, um, super tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you guys projecting to do within the first year? What do you? What do you? Yeah. See, I I, I said, because we trying to, we trying to do a hundred thousand for the end of this year. That's gonna beautiful. Y'all gonna do it. We own it. Y'all so, scratching on it. Y'all scratching it right now, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's coming. So, what are y'all plans? Let's see. You got to put something on yourself to say this is where I'm headed. Yeah, you do. What's our goals? I hadn't really. I've been so focused on getting everything up and running. Ain't trying to get monetized. You know, that's the first. same. That maybe that's the that's Look, the goal. That's yeah, the goal thousand, right yeah, thousand, thousand subscribers, four thousand. Four thousand. Well, that's the goal. Yes, that's my goal. But my goal for that is by the new year. Mm -hmm. You pushing that hard? Yeah, I'm trying to push it. You got to. You know what I? You know what it takes? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to take a lot of work. I'm not going to say I'm going to get there. You but can. I want to be damn. I know you I can. can. Anything, How often everything's do you drop? possible every day. You, you're doing a great job. I love what I'm seeing. I Thank love you, the intro you guys came up with. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I was waiting on that. You know what I'm saying? We're um, just trying to have fun. That's it. It's super know, fun. Do something. Ain't it fun? Do something See, new. Got, yeah. And not put too much stress on ourselves. Yeah. Like at the same time. Yeah. We're just trying to don't end. make it a job. Exactly. That's the thing. Once you're just doing it as a hobby. Exactly. Yes. Keep it ain't it gonna be way. no job dealing with Miss Jamaica. You know she. She like that fun. No, she got other things to do. She not for to play that game with me. Yes. She, <laughs> I like know that's what? right. And see, people ask me Sometimes. all the time. Yeah, because for a woman, it's like, yeah, we help, we assist, we do all of these things, but we still got to take care of home too. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, yeah. we don't have a maid just coming in and doing this and doing mm -hmm. that. Somebody, I got to still do that stuff. That's yeah, the goal. Yeah. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. A maid. Yeah. People like people <laughs> used to ask me all the time when. You know, around, around 2008 or so, 2009, you know, so, oh, Bobo, do you, you don't miss rapping? I said, no, not really. Only thing I really missed was that radio. I mean, I really, really missed it, and I really missed working with her on the radio when she left, you know what I mean? So I figured that this is kind of like what we did back then on our radio show, and it was kind of... It kind of puts us, you know, let us work together, and it's, it feels good. Feel you know good, I mean? yeah, yeah. Feel good. Super tight. It's fun. Super tight TV. How'd you come up with that name? Super tight TV. Well, we, of course, we had to be UGK influenced, mm -hmm. right? And the album that I was on tour with for UGK that I was the hype man on was well, I, I, I watched him record the whole UGK album. I mean, the whole Super Tight album and was the hype man on UGK Super Tight, you know, during that whole period of time. I guess from, what's that, end of 93 to 95, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, so I did that. So, That's hard, man. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. How, how, do you like seeing him so happy about it? I do. I love it. I, I can tell. Uh -huh. Somebody said it. to me the other day when I called one of my dudes from my old job, he said, boy, you look so happy. <laughs> That's what everybody's yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's what matters, man. <laughs> yeah. That job would stress me out. I lost 25 pounds. and That's what matters, man. Yeah. yeah. Too Listen, stressful. YOLO. I know it. You're right about that. Well, I know this has been like a dream. We've been talking about this for so many years. Ten and years, then To finally yeah. have... The timing, the time is right, and everything is the stars aligned and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So I, yeah, I like seeing them. The first day we got do together, this thing. the first day we got together, I mean, got together. I mean, you remember the day, and we were at, we were at my house, not that like that. <laughs> That's how you see the way it sounded. Like, put his fingers together. You see that? You see that? I'm like, damn. <laughs> no, no. I didn't see, do that, all that. That's him. I didn't do all that. See. <laughs> 
the we'll day say, I knew you. You nah, see, well, I couldn't say I couldn't say the day that I met you because I already knew her. Yeah. Well, the day that we got back together and decided to start dating. Yeah. Well, during the whole time we were sitting there talking, we were listening to music, you know, listening, watching TV and things like that, and we were talking about, um, you know, I had just gone through a divorce. You know what I mean? And we were just talking about life, her kid, my kids, and. You know what I'm saying? And she was talking about how, you know, what she would have done in my situation and that type of thing. And in my mind, when people talk, you know, I don't know, what is that, ADHD or whatever? I don't know. But my mind goes. I'm always thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm always thinking. And back then, she she don't know this, but I was thinking about what we could build together as a team. And I was thinking about you know, not marriage, you know what I mean? Because that would have been weird, you know what I mean? But you can you can say you was thinking about marriage, it's okay. But anyway, what I was really thinking about <laughs> what I was really thinking about that, what if, <laughs> if I, it. you know, if if, if if we did get together, you know, the business side of things, you know, people get people get married and they you know, their feelings it's too much feelings involved. Mm-hmm. You have to, you know, put your feelings and you have to think about that this is can, can also be a business. You know what I mean? And her strengths and my strengths together can be astronomical. You know what I mean? And that's what I thought. I thought about how much I had got held back in my last marriage, you know, and things like that. And, and I said, man, with this one, it could be to the moon. You know what I mean? And we didn't we, we didn't think about dating. I mean, I wasn't thinking about, you know, well, this is going to be my girlfriend or anything like that. But it ended up being like that. And here we are, here we are 15 years later. Man, yeah. congratulations, yeah, man. So, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How you doing? That's 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 the whole game, man. Black excellence. Uh yeah, marriage is a beautiful thing. Who it can is. find a virtuous wife a price is worth more than rubies? Amen. Yes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Just mm-hmm. just go on and just just go on give it to her. You know what I'm saying? Just go on give it up. You know what I'm saying? Well they don't know. <laughs> I mean a lot of people not me and all. I got homeboys right now that's players for life. Yeah, me, you know I'm a saying? player for Christ. Ooh, that's strong. Oh, no, bars. Serious. Bars. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we just got to do what's right, man. That's when it, it comes down, that's the foundation for us. So, that's it, man. You know, we, uh, we we got married in four months. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Don't yes. take a whole day some to recognize said I wouldn't sunshine. make it. Some said well, I wouldn't be here today. Well, you know, if you know that's the one. I did. I think, you know, a lot of times. 20 years later, it is. 20 years. It is. The one. Yeah, playing. who said that? Common. It don't take a whole day to recognize sunshine. Either you, that's you real. see it or you don't. Yeah. Hmm. That's real, man. Super tight is, uh, like I said, it gets going back to them. You see, I flipped that thing back. Super tight, baby. Super tight TV, man, going down, man. I think that's remarkable, bro. Thank you. I, I love the way you guys look together. It looks promising. I can't wait to... Two years from now, when all of us we going out the country together, yeah, hey. and, and we we doing. I'm, I'm trying to put some things together, y'all. So Jamaica uh, with Miss Jamaica. Hey, that's, that's heavy. heavy. <laughs> that's heavy. That's heavy, heavy. But we looking at putting some things together too. I'm gonna try to do something to try to bring. I'm gonna get with you and yep. you know trying to find a way to pull some different people that you know bring a mean punch just for gathering. You know, because because this thing need to be structured in a way to where we can. Uh, Bring people into this city and, and show them, you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Show them, show them what what we what we get what we done what we what we doing in yes. a way to where it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see what's going on, you know, because of all the platforms that we have here. If we get serious and knock out all the the BS, you know what I mean, and the ones that are standing strong, you know, back in the day. Record labels used to send their artists on media runs, you mm-hmm. know, to the record. Uh, to the radio, radio stations. stations. Now they're sending them, on, sending them on media runs to radio stations and, and podcasts. podcasts. That's mm-hmm. right. But if you're one of those podcasts that's out there, you know, causing a bunch of problems and, you know, the uh, like I, I call him Flo Anthony. You know who Flo Anthony is? I remember Flo. Gossip to go with Flo, mm-hmm, you know. Mm-hmm. That, if you're one of those types, you know, are, are they really going to lean your way? I want to be the one that they say, well, you know what, they got something they're pretty slick. They're pretty cool. They're pretty, you know, straight up and down. They about their business. That's my goal. And I, you know, kind of like this. You know what Ready. I mean? They they walk in. That's Ready. okay. You know what I'm saying? It's they, serious. Yes, they, they see you serious. <laughs> it's serious. Yeah. It's serious. And, and they see you content and know that, that you're serious. It's serious. And that's what I want to oh, be. Yeah. That's my dream. You no, know you I mean? already you already there. You are already doing what you're supposed to do. It's just now, patience and time. I know. I'm patient. 
Patience and time is what's going to determine everything. Bro. And consistency is mm-hmm. everything. Consistency is key. I got the faith of a mustard seed. <laughs> Check it, man. Huh. <laughs> Man, hey man, love everything about you guys, man. Uh, please uh, tell people what's the handle on the YouTube channel. Let's go. Hey, Super Tight TV, check it out, man. And on IG, Super Tight TV, everything. <laughs> That's it. Facebook, Super, Super Tight, Tight TV. TV. Let's get it, man. Oh. Hey, man, check it, man. TikTok, hey. Super Tight TV. Hey, <laughs> Bubba Luciano, Jazzy K. Super Tight TV. Man, I love it, man. Up your back, going smack, Say, smack, man, smack. go check out Super Tight TV, man. Make Tell sure you man. guys like and subscribe to Super Tight TV. Uh, man, you already know we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we're going to talk. We're going to have fun. We be on fire. We be lit, lit. Hey. Yeah. We be lit, lit. <laughs> it's Shout out to X Show, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Come on, yeah. now. Man. 